Welcome back. This is part two, and we're looking at some of the free effects in Cubase 6.5 and how they stack up to some of the expensive stuff on the market, brought to you by Recording School Online. Now, if you haven't seen part one, you probably really should, because we're demonstrating a number of the very high-quality effects built into Cubase 6.5. And this can save you some money. A lot of people are asking, can I do complete productions, quality productions, just using my DAW? And I have to say, previously, I may have said, well, it would be nice to have some additional stuff. Um, but I'm pretty impressed. And I have to say now, yes, you can. And we're demonstrating some of the finer plugins that come with the full version of Cubase 6.5. So let's continue on. We're listening mostly to the built-in effects on this soundtrack mix. So we're hearing uh, two different examples of reverence, the impulse response reverb built-in, which is quite sweet. I think it's very, very nice sounding. And in video one, we listen to it on the violin. Now we're going to listen to a completely different, smaller space on the percussion. Now it's coming up. Let's get a little more kick in there. Coming up. Here it comes. It's the Tokyo Studio Space. Coming up. nice. They've really improved uh, or added just some very additional sweet things to the product. So, okay, we've already listened to the two reverence. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, now this is very impressive. Cloner built in. Using it as an insert. It's actually on the violin. And this can be used for a number of things. It's very good for vocals, background, or lead, solos, um, or to fatten up tracks. I really like it on the violin. And I'll switch through some things. Let's see. Now, what it's doing is enabling us to for instance, clone or double or quadruple here, uh, the original signal to thicken it up by detuning some of the cloned copies and then delaying them. So for soundtrack work, a lot of these plugins are working very, very nice. Let's have a listen back to that. Good sounding, very nice, as good as some of the Waves plugins in UAD. Now, I have to say this, uh, just as a technique, when you're detuning something like a violin, which is a fretless instrument, um, you can actually make 
the pitch sound tighter and more on. And this works also for background vocals. So this is a technique that's very useful if you've got a part that's slightly off uh, that you want to make sound like it's more on. But of course, in this version of Cubase, we can actually fix pitch as well. And we're not going to do that. But I'm going to show you uh, on the percussion, we're also using Datube, which is certainly not one of the newer ones. It's been there for years. Uh, but it's very, very useful in bringing out some of the harmonic content or some of the upper mid-range and top end of a percussion part. Now you'll hear it when it comes on. I'll solo it. Let's see. Very nice. Now we're using that with the internal EQ, also improved, and the version of Reverence here. So here are our plugins. Got two versions of Reverence. We've got the Mod Machine, which was super cool. We saw that in the previous video. And here are all the plugins together. Now I'm going to turn back on our multi-channel compressor on the final on the on the output bus and have a final listen to everything thanks for watching check it out